here is the top lit up draft mini biocha production method being demonstrated with the small sticks the pyre created is lit at the top then slowly that flame will move downwards paralyzing the biomass as this flame acts like a curtain the biochar formed at the top layer is uh, protected from further combustion and uh, it remains there we should do this uh, kind of uh, pyrolysis only during the calm Uh, days where the wind speed is very low by quenching with water we can retrieve the biochar at the end this is one of the easiest uh, methods demonstrated where a person need not spend anything here is another method being demonstrated this is the trench method or pit method this is an elongated trench usually we can have something like um, 2.5 feet width about 4 feet depth about 9 to 10 feet length and that is an ideal thing which i found during several of my uh, practices with this method here first uh, we will add some biomass and uh, we will light it and then we add the biomass in batches like layer by layer we have to wait after each batch that uh, carbonizes and uh, looks dark and when it starts looking white it means some ash is being formed then add one more layer of biomass like this with uh, layer after layer within say around 3 uh, to 4 or 5 batches of adding these layers in this kind of trenches at the end when when the top layer is also pyrolyzed completely then we add the water here actually the flame acts like a curtain and uh, because the trench it is protected from external air entering into this uh, pyrolysis zone whatever biochar that is formed in the initial cycle that remains there protected by the flame cutter because for any oxygen to go below and further combust the biochar or the charcoal it's very hard in this process so therefore at the end all the biomass is converted into biochar and by quenching with water we can retrieve immediately so this is a very good practice even people are doing even thousands of tons of crop residue like cotton stalks where within no time one could have at least 5 6 batches of production minimum this kind of uh, trenches in a day and on a large scale also they can try this is one of the quick methods of uh, producing 
Bhayachar. The temperature at which the Bhayachar is formed is around 400-500 degrees centigrade. And one of the convenient methods for farmers with a JCB procliner, one could have this trench within half an hour to one hour time and could create about two steps so that they can conveniently get into and especially for retrieving the biochar at the end also we can have those two steps but here in this particular demonstration I am showing in a shallow trench this is for demonstration this is not a complete uh, uh, system that is adopted in the fields and this is for giving an idea of how it is done and uh, there is some smoke uh, I think uh, they they will be learning in the process and uh, we should not add too much and suddenly by dumping also we get too much smoke and, and biomass should have less than 15% uh, moisture it is preferable and uh, best time to do is in the evenings or early morning when the wind speed is very low or calm days or calm nights and the majority of the people are adopting this in the initial phase and even this method is part of eligibility for carbon credits for biochar production other similar methods are like kontiki we could have a design like kontiki pit the dimensions given in the kontiki and also we could have something like uh, a well in that also we can produce biochar these are the various options that one could adopt Initially when you quench with water, there is a, a lots of moisture that comes out immediately. That's why we see white uh, smoke. But after quenching enough, there won't be any moisture as well as uh, there won't be any smoke also. So quenching need to be complete, otherwise any little embers that are left in it will uh, burn them again because uh, after quenching we give some time before we retrieve here the walls of the earth surrounding this uh, in the pit usually they get heated more although biochar gets quenched so fast we can touch it but uh, sometimes the walls will be hot so enough precautions need to be taken care here like having masks gloves, proper fireproof shoes and including most important water readily available. There should not be any delay in uh, sprinkling the water in the process. And uh, any leftover biomass should be kept far away which is yet to be used because sometimes a small spark from here can take over that whole biomass. So these are the various precautions uh, one has to follow and do it. Although it is very simple, but especially when we do during daytime, the temperature of the flame is unbearable, especially in summers, in the tropical areas especially. So we can do conveniently in the evenings or early morning this is one of the best and easiest methods
being followed largely 